everyone a very warm welcome to the session how are you all doing so guys today we are going to go to kurg we are going to travel to kurg it's one of the most beautiful places guys so i'm sure you would enjoy reading it you would enjoy feeling the beauty of kurg so are you excited to start with this amazing yes yes it's a coffee country absolutely so hum so coffee lovers out there how many of you love coffee hi khushi hi aman okay first of all a very warm welcome to today's session we will be having an amazing session and we will together travel to kurg the coffee belt okay and not just it's not just popular for uh, its coffee we have other important features fascinating uh, and beautiful scenery and it's it's also you know filled with wildlife so yes animal lovers coffee lovers all of you out there we will be enjoying our travel to kurg so let's get transported virtually to kurg this is shweta roy your english master teacher at vedantu and let's go to kurg guys so we also have yes we also have a menti at the end so please stay tuned throughout the session hi aman hello pragya hi khushi so all of you guys coffee lovers give me a quick high five tea or coffee i like both i like both sometimes tea sometimes coffee and i need both <laughs> so what what about you what's your opinion tell me yes aman the dynamite ओके ग्रेट नेम सोहम टी ओके टी अच्छा हाय प्रज्ञा लव यू टू थैंक यू खुशी मोहम्मद जैद बोथ टी एंड कॉफी ओके मोहम्मद जैद इज इन माय टीम ऑल राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद द ब्यूटीफुल चैप्टर एंड इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी टॉक्ड अबाउट गोवा एंड वी एंजॉयड इट्स बेकरी right baking products so bread goa right so today we will be traveling to kurg so ready ready everyone <laughs> thank you pragya thank you for this beautiful comment of yours thank you hi kushi ready very good so guys those of you who do not know me i am your english master teacher shweta roy and talking about my educational qualification i have pursued my masters in english and ba and i have more than a year of teaching experience i have also qualified ctet and mentored more than 20000 students both online and offline so guys let's unleash the power within you and in today's session we are empowered to travel to kurg and explore its beauty so are you guys ready to tr be transported to kurg and explore its beauty yes or no give me a quick thumbs up hit the like button quickly and let's get started guys with the word of the day quagmire which is given by swati so let's have a big round of applause for swati it's a noun and she has also used it in an in a in a sentence it means torrential rain okay sorry um it, it she has used it in a sentence saying torrential rain turned the building side into a quagmire so great job swati and let's give a big round of applause uh, for swati and also don't forget to place your word of the day at the end of the session in the comment section okay Hi Ananya hello Nivetha hi Aman do you li like mountain biking i have never tried one uh, so i don't know but i would love to of course so guys this is going to be the session flow for today's session we will be enjoying the summary of the chapter so while we enjoy the summary of the chapter we would be enjoying the beauty of this beautiful place called kurg which i am still to visit i have not yet visited kurg in reality how many of you have already visited kurg tell me guys bhavna khushi ananya soham nipun so tell me how many of you have already visited this place and after reading this chapter kurg i really want to visit this place once in my life how many of you are with me on this okay so in today's session guys we will be definitely talking about the summary of the chapter followed by the vocabulary and guys subjective and value based questions if you have checked your sample paper guys you have seen what kind of questions have come 
in the sample paper so we have to be prepared with those kind of questions and that is exactly what we are going to practice in today's session along with of course the menti quiz which is not going to go anywhere okay so are you guys ready yes medal aman okay pratibha hi pratibha so let's get started guys with the beautiful chapter by lokesh abrol who is a director traveler and social entrepreneur who loves india and writing about different places that he has visited so of course he must have visited korg and that's what he is writing that's why he's writing about korg and we will see the summary of the chapter so as you can see the beautiful scenic beauty guys the beautiful scenery out there the writer describes the hill station of korg which is located in the western ghats of the state of karnataka okay it's the smallest district of the state of karnataka in the pre previous chapter we talked about goa which was again the smallest state of india so these small places are so beautiful right filled with scenic beauty so you can see over here it is located midway between bangalore and mangalore right midway between Mang bangalore and mangalore okay and the suitable time to visit korg is from september to march what is the suitable time please note so that you can plan your trip accordingly okay and guys this place is famous for its coffee plantation and spices and of course there are abundant rainforests which cover 30% of the area okay september to march yes yes ananya and vidhi hi vidhi okay so now you have a question please type your answers guys describe korg's weather when is it the most pleasant for the tourists to visit korg come on korg's weather and you have to describe uh, uh, you have to also talk about when is it the most pleasant time the perfect time for you to visit korg so that you can plan september to march absolutely yes bhavna there is a little rainfall at that point of time also but you can enjoy that rain okay yes vidhi september to march that's absolutely correct korg the pleasant of uh, the, the weather of korg is pleasant during the months from september to march as uh, bhavna said that you know during that time also the uh, weather is perfect but uh, of course you can expect some showers of rain but that definitely that is enjoyable that is also pleasant during the monsoon it receives heavy rainfall that's why the ideal time is september to march theek hai yes beta it is a small town between mangalore and mangalore yes pratibha okay now from here it's very important the kurgi men are brave warriors who are permitted to keep firearms without a license due to their trustworthiness okay so they are trustworthy and therefore they are they are the only ones who are allowed to keep firearms without a license this is a point to be noted and of course we will also understand how they are valorous how they are brave okay so we'll talk about kurgi people now kurgi kurg is also known as uh, the kurgi people are also known as kodavus and they are quite different their rites their rituals are quite different from the mainstream hindu uh, mainstream hindu culture right so there are multiple stories surrounding the ancestry of kodavus please note the stories guys these are very very important you can expect questions from these stories so according to one story the kurgis are descendant from the greeks very very important how what is the story behind that an interesting story guys please take a note during alexander the great's invasion of india a part of the army traveled to south india and could not make their way back due to the impossible terrain right so that is why that is uh, what happened after that is they settled down so they could not travel back to their place so they settled down there itself and they mingled with the local people with the kurgi people and they adopted their culture their food and their tradition so obviously when this intermingling took place so uh, they adopted the kurgi culture the kurgi people also adopted some of their cultural uh, you know traditional values and customs so that is how they are very different from the hindu mainstream hindu customs and traditions is it clear to all guys 
yes yes aman beta there are two legends aman we will be talking so first we have talked about the greek legend okay now we will be talking about the arabic legend also don't worry okay so the question is from whom have the inhabitants of kurg descended as per the legend so the first legend that we talked about guys can anyone tell me can anyone tell me guys from whom uh, have the descendants of kurg uh, whom have the inhabitants of kurg descended as per the legend alexander's army okay yes ha greek and arab both so now we had done uh, the we had talked about the greek legend right so yes a part of alexander's army when retreating from india went south and settled in kurg when they found that they could not return home okay then they married among the locals their culture seeped into the locals and that's how you know their descendants uh, are called uh, uh, you know that they, they they married among the locals and their descendants are the kodavus the people of kurg so obviously they would have the culture there theek hai so this is as per the greek legend and now we will come to another story this is the first story okay we have two stories two legends okay so another story surmises possible arab descent based on the kupia or the long black coat worn by kodavus which is like the arabic garment kufia so the arabic garment the name of the arabic garment is kufia and the name of the garment which resembles kufia which is worn by the kodavus that is kupia it looks somewhat like this uh, i'll show you yes yes this is kufia is it clear sorry kupia okay kufia is uh kufia is the arabic garment kupia is the uh garment which is worn by the kodavus theek hai Yes, Gopina, tell me what is your doubt? The Kodavu people are also known for their hospitality and bravery. Very, very important point. The Kurg regiment has garnered the highest number of honors in the history of Indian Army. Please take a note of this. Okay, the Kurg regiment has the highest number of honors in the history of the Indian Army. So yes, tales of valor. They are brave. They they have numerous tales of Uh, bravery as well and point to be noted general kariyappa or kurgi was the first chief of the indian army so first chief of the indian army was general kariyappa and he was a kurgi clear everyone hospitality what does hospitality mean guys anyone can anyone tell me in the chat and also let me know the answer to this question how has the kurgi tradition of courage and bravery recognized in modern india very important guys very very important question this can come yes anyone can anyone tell me what is the meaning of hospitality guys i'm waiting for your answers and also give me the answer to this question Come on I cannot see your answers Yes Okay so be treating guests nicely yes and showing respect okay okay and yes so yes you all are absolutely correct hospital hospitality is friendliness showing respect and all of that very good now give me the answer to this question come on guys yes ananya very good most decorated regiment in the indian army absolutely aman very very good so the kurgi tradition of courage and bravery has been recognized by awarding the kurgi regiment the most number of gallantry awards very important point to be noted this can come so please prepare this question well and the kurgis are also the only indians who are not who are allowed to carry firearms without a license you can also talk about uh, general kariyappa here so i am mentioning general kariyappa you can also talk about that are what happened yes mentioning about general kariyappa okay you can also mention him right next is the river kaveri originates from from kurg and the fish named masir is found in this river 
this is a very popular fish which is found there apart from that guys it also inhabits a lot of animals wild animals so these are the names please take take a look many animals like a uh, birds like kingfisher langur squirrels elephants can be spotted along with the along the river and it is also very famous for uh, these activities okay like uh these adventure sports like river rafting canoeing rappelling mountain biking so some i think one of you asked me about mountain biking so yes <laughs> uh, here it is famous so guys those of you who are lovers of adventure sports how many of you like to uh, like adventure sports and what, is there any adventure sport which you have tried till now i have tried only one that is river rafting uh, that uh, that was in rishikesh i had tried river rafting in rishikesh apart from that i have not done any of the activities what about you guys okay aman is saying me what about the rest yes trekking yes trekking also is okay i have not uh, tried trekking i don't like walking too much <laughs> okay and what about the rest Okay so guys if you want to enjoy adventure sports kurg is the place which you can definitely definitely uh, visit where you can visit while trekking on the natural trails animals you could spot some animals these are the animals which are spotted okay macaws malabar squirrels langur slender loris these are the various animals that they are found because see kurg is famous for its uh evergreen forest right so that's why obviously evergreen forests are forests with which are with uh, with, with luxurious leaves and you know, with thick canopies so obviously they would be inhabiting a lot of wild animals right so animal lovers you can definitely visit kurg adventure sport lovers you can definitely visit kurg okay all right rachi okay okay great great you haven't tried any no worries you can try you have time bahut time hai abhi to okay so the major tourist attraction so if you are planning to take a trip to kurg guys look at the tourist attraction list down list them down so that you it could be you know, your next two travel list it could be included in your next two travel list okay so guys major tourist attractions are brahmagiri hills nisargandhama island bailukupi tibetan settlements okay so these are very very attractive tourist spots now if you go to if you climb to the brahmagiri hills you can see the entire landscape okay the panoramic view uh, is noticeable so i would definitely suggest if you visit kurg please go to take a climb to the brahmagiri hills in order to look uh, you know look at the panoramic view it will be beautiful okay so now come on tell me describe any tourist places of kurg please let me know your answers i am waiting for your answers until and unless you answer guys i'm not going to move ahead chalo i want your answers guys yes khushi aman dhruvi come on come on guys come on guys okay uh, i think some of you pointed out okay yes i think one of you pointed out uh, the situation the, the exact location of kurg it's between uh, mysore and mangalore i think there was an error there it's between mysore and mangalore if i'm not mistaken hai na it's between mysore and mangalore theek hai so please rectify that okay two tourist places of kurg come on Brahmagiri Hills, Nisar Gadama, very good, Niveta and Kushi, very good. Yes, yes, Druvi. Chalo. The climb of Brahmagiri Hills brings to a panoramic view of the entire misty landscape, as I already told you. And what about Nisar Gadama? A walk across the rope, uh, rope bridge. So there is a rope bridge. Okay, walking that rope bridge would lead to the 64-acre island of Nisar Gadama. So you can see over here from the picture. this is the rope bridge if you can cross this then you would be reaching uh, this island and the area that it covers is 64 acres okay so guys scotland of india kurg 
so just uh, under, just try to understand the beauty the natural beauty because it's named as it's uh, it's titled as you know the scotland of india so obviously the, this is a place where we all should visit don't you think so guys how many of you are planning to visit kurg so kurg gives visitors a feel of india's diverse culture that is another amazing part of kurg that is another amazing feature of kurg guys it gives india a feel it gives uh, visitors a feel of india's diverse culture okay so that is very very important and having said that we have reached the end of the session uh, the chapter and now we will look at the vocabulary so please take a look at the vocabulary guys drifted from been carried gently by uh, by air okay drifted is carried away theek hai and martial is having to do with wars please note the vocabulary you might have questions from your invigorating strong canopies now canopy is important canopy is roof like coverings made of trees to form a shelter okay roof like covering uh, covering of tree basically it forms like a you know shelter type theek hai and then we have mainstream which people usually follow okay and tales of valor valor is courage descent is origin laid back is relaxed lazy people so even for those who are laid back if you go to kurg you would be filled with energy right rippling effect please note rippling effect is a small wave okay you know what is a ripple so when you drop an object into water it in the water it causes a ripple a small wave that is a ripple okay then mahouts uh, that is uh, the people who work with this is important guys who work with uh, or rides or tends an elephant theek hai rafting i told you now these are the various adventure sports okay so you might be interested in them so please know the meaning right and trails paths so now guys we will check out the mind map can you see the mind map of the chapter is the mind map visible yes that that's that's an uh, typing mistake khushi okay can you check out the mind map guys is it visible to you yes okay so theme is definitely the scenic beauty of kurg celebration of kodavu culture so yes we came across the different um uh Uh, of course uh, the different kinds of tales legends and we came to know about we we became aware of kodavu culture and definitely this chapter is celebrating that and bravery of kodavu people kurg as a tourist hub so the message is obviously the rich culture and diversity of india so the first chapter dealt with uh, goa and its portuguese culture the bread okay it smell right and now here kurg deals with another type of culture we came across two different legends uh, one is possible greek descent the other one is arabic descent right and we talked about kodavu people who are brave and fiercely independent right we also talked about uh, the examples of bravery so the kurgi regiment which is one of the most decorated in indian army and we also came to know about general kariyappa who was a kurgi so that is the entire mind mapping i think this is one of the easiest chapters guys all the three parts of um, glimpses of india they are very very scoring so i would definitely suggest you to please prepare this chapter well theek hai is this clear to all okay so guys the last question is a value based question the question says the kodagus or the kurgis are the descendants of the greeks or the arabs they are still able to maintain their traditional practices so do you agree that following these practices today is important why or why not what do you think guys beta i have read out the character sketch pratibha so even if it is not visible no worries i have read out very good vidhi congratulations well done okay come on guys kurgis are descendants of greeks so they have still maintained their culture so do you agree 
don't just say yes give me the reason this is a value based question this will come for four marks you've seen the paper right so okay so hum great great right guys so definitely uh, it has since they follow the practices it has kept the tradition of kurgis known to the people even today right so that is uh, how we are able to you know distinguish the kurgi people right if the kurgi people had not followed the tradition it would have been it would have perished and nobody would have remembered their culture their traditional practices right so according to the text the tradition can be seen in the martial tradition the religious rites and the marriages okay the kodavus even wear the dress that resembles the arabs right so the dress which is known as you can name the dress also it is kupia okay so you can uh, write the name of the dress and the name of the dress that the arabs wear that is kufia so kufia resembles kufia traditional practices also play a very important role amongst people and have an impact on shaping the behavior of the people right guys so that was all for this particular chapter and now we have the menti session do do you feel excited okay are you guys excited for the menti the culture is different from the hindu mainstream yes beta you uh, khushi you don't have to memorize anything theek hai you have to practice writing on your own this is the now what you will have is subjective questions okay so for subjective questions it's very important to get a deeper insight about the text okay so first step should be reading the text then the second step should be attending the sessions for a deeper insight and the third step should be uh, not memorizing the question and answers okay but writing it on your own whatever questions we practice in the class that is there apart from that guys you should practice questions from the previous year question paper also and you know all the practice materials that you have so in our wave platform guys i was just about to talk about it so yes so we have a lot of questions and we have a lot of assignments so since now it is the time for you to practice writing and framing answers on your own so that is exactly what we are going to teach you in our sessions how to frame your answers for term 2 subjective paper that is very very important so if you have doubts if your concept is not clear then you are these are the obstacles that you have so we are going to we are going to make sure that all the obstacles that you have are stopped okay you do not face any problems and uh, if you are lagging behind in your syllabus and looking for a proper revision plan we are there to help you out in all of these with our vedantus live and interactive courses not just covering your entire syllabus but having live online of uh, high level quiz questions and covering the entire syllabus with lots and lots of practice questions handwritten notes all the doubts getting cleared then and there inside the class and guys clearing your topic wise assignments yes clear your concepts with topic wise assignments which you can have at the end of each and every session okay so that's going to fast track your cbsc preparation you can also take mock tests and improve on your percentage and you have thousands of micro courses at your fingertips absolutely free and you have two types of plans guys one is light which you will get after application of the coupon code s w r e pro after application of this code guys you are going to get this at a discount of uh, at this discount price and you can take a free trial also for 15 days if you are not very sure at the very beginning right and if you take the classic plan this is the discount price that you have after application of s w r e pro this coupon code and you can take a free trial for this as well for 15 days you will get an additional doubt solving on mobile app okay where you can solve all your doubts from 8 am to 9 am that is something which is wonderful for all of you and now since your term 2 is right around the corner we need to practice more and more and we are going to help you out help you out in your practice sessions guys 
So do not forget to visit the link which is right there in the description box and pin comment. Use the coupon code as WRE Pro and get yourselves enrolled. I'll quickly take you and help you to get yourselves enrolled. So let's say, uh, let's say I am showing you. So this is the session which is going on, right? These are your live chats. As you can see, this is the link. Can you see the link? So if you can see guys, CBSC term 2 full course. Okay, term 2 full course. This is the link. You just need to click on this link. And the moment you click on this link, you will get two types of plans. You will get the details, right? So light is this price classic is this price after application of the coupon code you're going to save this so this is how you can get yourselves enrolled so now is the correct time guys having term two just round the corner okay so one second yes Okay, so this is today's homework, guys. How do codes, location, people, and natural features add to the diversity of India? Please make sure you have answered your question in the comment section. Subjective paper hai, bachcha party. You will be getting subjective paper. So, you have to practice writing answers. So, I would definitely, definitely request you to please post your homework answers in the comment section. Okay? Is it lagging? Yes, Menti is right there, guys. Menti is right there. Okay? So, be ready for Menti, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to hit the like button. Now, we are going to start with the Menti session. Okay? Are you guys ready? Super ready, guys. The Menti code is 9051827. Yes, Soham, Kanveer, Dhanpal. Are you guys ready? Everyone, please go to www.menti.com. Use the code 9051-8277. Hi, Kanveer. I have already wished you. <laughs> Hi, Maitre. So, guys, you can call your friends quickly to join the Menti. 38 likes, guys. Not even 40. Come on. Half century. 50. That's our target at least at the beginning. <coughs> Are we ready? Join, Vita. Okay. So, guys, quickly join using the code 9051-8227. I think most of you have already joined as you are saying in the chat. So, let's get started with the very first question. Come on, guys. Where is Kulk situated? I think I rectified this question. So, please... Answer accordingly. Between Bangalore, Mangalore and Bangalore, Mangalore and Mysore, Mysore and Bangalore or none. So I had rectified already. So yes, correct answers by most of you. It's between Mysore and Mangalore. Okay. Very good. So the very first fastest finger list is right there in front of us. And I can see Soham is at the top, being also the fastest. Congratulations. Casper, Pingu, Magical Rhino, Dr. Centipede, Sambal, Ronald, Heartstorm, Khushi and Ted. Well done, guys. Superb, amazing. Next question on your screens. Yes. Are you ready? Next question on your screens. When is it the most pleasant for the tourists to visit Kurg? January to July, April to August, September to March or none? Come on guys, accordingly you have to plan your trip, right? So please at least give your answers correctly here. Hi Ananya. Come on. Okay, super. Most of you have answered it correctly. September to March, very simple question but important questions. Okay, so you need to remember these points. So we have Soham again at the top, Pratibha being the fastest, congratulations. Aman, hi sweetie ma'am, thank you Aman, hi. Afreen is also the fastest, good job. The Invincible Lincoln is back, 10G, okay. Ananya, Ananya, Bora, Sambal, 
Vidhi, BTS Army. Okay. And Kushi. Well done. Well done, guys. New students up on the leaderboard. I'm super excited to see who comes out the winner for today's mentee. And with that, we move ahead with the third question. Yes, Sarita, Kanvi, Soham. What kind of stories are the Kurg people always ready to tell? Kurgi people. Okay. The tales of valor related to their sons and fathers, the tales of horror related to the sons and fathers, the tales of life or all. Okay, so guys, 56, why did you go wrong here? Guys, it is the tales of valor. Okay, so for Kurgi people, valor, bravery, these are very, very important factors. So they are always ready to, you know, ready to narrate the tales of valor. Uh, related to their fathers and sons, they are the decorated, uh, they have the decorated army also, that's very, very important. Horror. <laughs> today, micro course, no better, today I have just uh, a long term batch, not micro. Okay, so we have Soham, Invisible Lincoln, Ananya. Sambal is the fastest. Then we have Pratibha, Aman, Afreen, Ananya, Vidhi, Nivetha. Good job, good job, good job. Well done, guys. Okay, fourth question. We have two more questions to go. So please brace yourselves up. Who was General Kariyappa? Important question. All of you, the first chief of Indian Army, the first general of Kurg Regiment, the first captain of Indian Army, or both one and two. Think and then answer. Come on, guys. Okay, so both one and two was there to confuse you. It is first chief of Indian Army, guys. The first chief of Indian Army. Okay? General Kariyappa, please take a note. Soham Sarita, mistake. Oh, oh. No worries, no worries. Okay. <laughs> mistake. All right. The invisible Lincoln is now at the top. Congratulations, Pratibha, Soha, Mafreen, Ananya, Vidhi, Sambal, Ananya. Niveta is the fastest and Aman. Final question. Let's see who comes out as the winner. Neck to neck. Come on, guys. <clears throat> Hi, Ahir. The freshwater fish of Kurg. What is it called? Mahabir, Masir, uh, Mahanari. Mahacheta. Let's see. Very, very simple. <coughs> Five seconds. We have done this. We have looked at the image also. Come on, guys. Okay, yes. Most of you have answered it correctly. Very, very well done. So, who do you think is going to be the winner for today? Hi, Tamanna. Who do you think is going to be the winner for today? Can anyone tell me? Let's check it out, guys. Okay. Interesting game. Interesting session. Interesting menti quiz. And, and, okay. Invincible Lincoln. Congratulations, dear. Congratulations. Well done, well done, well done. So, we also congratulate uh, Pratibha, Soha, Mafreen. And I cannot see some of the names, but... Uh, Ananya, Bora, Ananya, Niveta, Aman, Khushi and all of you who have participated wholeheartedly. So, Ham, Khushi, Ananya, Sarita, Ahir. Okay, very, very well played guys. Good job done. So, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. 41 likes already done. So, please make it 50 at least. And don't forget to please put your comments for the homework answer. It is very important that you write your homework answers. Because that is how you're going to practice. Okay? So please don't forget to do that. And share this video amongst your friends. Subscribe to the channel in case you haven't. Till then guys. We'll see you again in the next session. Yes, Kushi. We'll see you again in the next session. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.